don't try this at home, kids. We got two going off now. So smoky in that. This cob job is just funny. Oh, that's gross. Hey everybody, welcome back to Adventures of Spackman, the channel that brings you DIY gear, backpacking adventures, camping adventures, and all around outdoor adventures. If you like that sort of thing, think about hitting that subscribe button for more videos. Today, we are smoking out a hot tent, testing smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. Interested to find out how the test goes? Stick around. All right, let's go over the setup. I have the Camp Chef stove here. Here is my stove jack. It's all taped up because there was a big hole here from where I removed that prior last year because my kid ran into it with her bike, but that's a different story. So I rigged this up just for this test. Have the stove. I have these stands here that I'm going to have smoke detectors, one down at the bottom, one midway, and one up at the top. Same setup over here for carbon monoxide. One down at the bottom, one midway, and then one up at the top. I also put a window in. I used a shower curtain, duct taped it into the door so we can see it from the outside. I'm also gonna have a GoPro down here recording from the inside. Let's go to the back. So here is the outside. I have a tripod supporting the chimney. This cob job is just funny. I have a can that fits on here perfect. I'm gonna cover that with the can to simulate a, down, a backdraft of the stove or the spark arrestor getting clogged in the middle of the night or whenever you're using it. So that is today's experiment. Let's get a fart going. All right, fire's going. I got, I set three smoke detectors on the right side, one up high, one in the middle, one down low. The one in the middle is the one that I always bring with me. And then on the other side of the stove, I set up three carbon monoxide detectors. One up high, one in the middle, one down low. The one in the middle is the one I always bring with me. It actually has a digital read of parts per million carbon monoxide or something. So I'm gonna let some coals build up in this stove, and then we're gonna clog it. <laughs> And see what happens. Stick around. I think I have enough coals to start this now. So let's get this test running. I got some maple, some semi-wet maple, and some fat wood to create a lot of smoke. So I'm just going to open the chute, throw in the wood, and go clog the back. Oh, I like it in here. It's hot. Yeah. It's it's very hot in here, huh? Yeah, feels good. Here's some water. Thank you. All right, that looks awfully smoky in there. Hi. I'm gonna close the door. Here's Lila, she wants to say hi. Hi. All right, so now I'm gonna go out back. I'm gonna clog the pipe. Yeah, let's hope for a lot of smoke. There it is. Started. Gloves, gloves. Huh? Smoke starting. Can't really see it, but I, I can see it. You're gonna be able to see it on the GoPro. I'm not gonna stop filming. I'm gonna see how long it takes for a smoke detector to go off. No. Lila's eating snow. There's one. Looks like the highest one I would imagine. I'm really curious to find out if the carbon monoxide is going to go off because of the smoke. I don't know. Oh, there goes the medium size one. Medium height. What's happening? <laughs> Smoking out the tent, Lila. So the only vents I have open are the ones at the top. Oh, wow, look at the pipe. I think the first one only took about 10 seconds or so to go off. 10, 15, 20 seconds. Medium height one took about a minute and a half. I think the bottom one's going off now too. Can't tell if any of the carbon monoxide detectors are going off. Kind of sounds like it. Let's find out. Oh my God. Oh, it's smoky in there. Can you see? No. 
There's 143. Are these going off? No. That's not going off, but that was that was really high. Why didn't that go off? All right, part two of this test. I'm gonna take the smoke detectors out and put the carbon monoxide back in and see how long it takes for those to go off. I'll be right back. Hi, well, you want you want to say hi to the subscribers? Yeah. All right. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Well, at least the fire's still going. Look at all this black that formed. First part was a success. Let's move on to carbon monoxide detectors. Oh, hi guys. Don't cover up the camera with your fingers over here. Oh, try not. All right, so now I'm ready for the carbon monoxide test. I have all three set up in there again. I have the GoPro going, and I'm gonna start the smoke show. Here we go. Yep, go around the front, go around the front. Hard, yeah, you can't you can't really see through this as much as I was hoping you would. There we go. Oh, that window's working great now. Just had to put it up to the thing. I am surprised it's not bellowing out of those air intake holes in the front of the door. Just coming out of the cracks of the door. I'll uh I'll keep this rolling, but I'll bring you back. I'll bring you back when something starts beeping, okay? <laughs> One of them needs to start beeping, right? There's got to be carbon monoxide and smoke. The one with the digital readout had a, a peak of 143. I don't know what that number means, but it is much higher than zero. Sorry, let me put my shades on. Uh, it is much higher than zero, so I think it should have been going off. And anything over zero, I think it should go off, right? Yeah. Let's see what Lila's doing. Hey, what are you doing with that? See what you made. Ah, oh, cool. A little snow cave for the tarantula. He's gonna be nice and warm there. There he is. Looks like he froze to death a long time ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, it is really smoky in there now. Still nothing. I do. I do see numbers on the one in the middle. You can't see them, but I can. I don't know what the numbers are. 140 something I see. So we'll find out what the peak was this time before it goes off. I think it's safe to say you definitely need a smoke detector <laughs> with a hot tenting. The carbon monoxide detector uh, doesn't seem to be working very well. Oh, it's like extremely smoky in there now. I can't see the numbers at all. It is eight and a half minutes into the test. Still no alarm. The worst part about this is the eyes. But I need to be able to see. Oh, if you ever do this, make sure you hold your breath. Yeah, always hold your breath. It's a death trap in there. I opened the door. Now it's really bellowing out smoke. And I just tested them. I pushed all the buttons and they beeped. I want to say the number on that thing was over 380. My eyes are all burning and watery. Don't try this at home, kids. Uh, it is so smoky in there. I cannot... Oh, oh, one of them's going off. Which one? Let's see if I can hear it from this side. I think it's the one at the top. Yeah, it's definitely coming from the top. Okay. Okay. Oh, you can't even see in there anymore. We got two going off now. All right. So what did we learn from this? Huh? I got a cue card. All right. Smoke detector up high took 28 seconds to set off. You definitely want a smoke detector when you're hot tent camping. No doubt in my mind, you need a smoke detector. Anything can happen in the middle of the night. Gust of wind comes in, back drafts your stove, moves the draft the other way, you're smoked out. Carbon monoxide detector. First one to go off was the 
one that was high again, that took 11 minutes and 53 seconds, about 11 minutes and 53 seconds. I mean, could you, would you be alive after breathing in smoke or carbon monoxide for over 11 minutes? I don't know, I ain't a scientist. So the smoke detector was definitely the winner here. You definitely want a smoke detector in your tent. The carbon monoxide detector. This went up to over 600 or something. Let's see if the peak is still there. 650 parts per million of CO2 in the tent before this actually went off. I don't understand why it took so long or what the science is behind that. Maybe somebody knows. Leave it in the comments down below if you do. As always guys, don't try this at home. Every time I went into the hot tent when it was smoky, I held my breath. My eyes started watering almost instantly and burning from the smoke, obviously. So please don't try this at home. If you like this sort of thing, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see other tests like this with carbon monoxide detectors or smoke detectors. I got another one that I want to try out with a camp stove inside of a tent. So let me know if you want to see that in the comments down below. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. It's been a blast. See you next time. Cheers. For the last smoke out test, I used a ton of fat wood. And the, the soot got everywhere. I mean, it's all over this pipe. It's, it is, oh man, those are, these are so black now. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> Let's see if I can. That's gross. Look at this. Oh, wow.